Now, I do want to give a huge shout out to Awesome Sauce 443 for letting me know about this. If you guys have any tips and tricks, follow me on Twitter, send me a DM. We'll make a video and get you a shout out. Anyway, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Sock E-Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing an amazing secret feature for your Galaxy smartphone. Now, this is going to be working on One UI 3.0, 2.5, and before, but this particular feature that you're looking at right here has been upgraded for One UI 3.0. It has a new look and extended functionality. So this is a built-in feature. It is known as the GPU watch feature. Basically, it shows you the GPU and the CPU load right in this window. Over here under context info, it gives you the screen resolution. So if I were to go to my settings right now, you'll see that the resolution is gonna be displayed right here. It says 1080 by 2316. Over here, we have the average FPS, and then a bunch of informations right over here. And on top of that, this whole thing is in fact customizable. So I can have this in red color in different formats, make it green if that's what you want, and also make the size a little bit smaller and whatnot. So for example, I can use this tool to monitor my games. I can see the current GPU, CPU load, the average frames per second and any other information I would want on the screen. It's a great tool to use when you're actually gaming so you can see your CPU and GPU load and also what is the current FPS. So first let me show you how to enable this. Let me go to the settings, okay? And I do want to let you know one thing. This thing is an overlay atop your display. So when you click on it, nothing happens, but whatever is underneath the overlay actually gets clicked. So you can click anywhere under this, whatever's underneath this is gonna be selected just so you know. So anyway, this is gonna be in developer options. If you don't see it all the way at the bottom of your phone, you do wanna go to your about phone, okay? And then you want to go into software information. You wanna tap the bill number seven times and that's going to enable the developer options. Now once you're here, you go inside and then you scroll down until you find the option known as the GPU watch. Okay, let me, it's gonna be somewhere over here, right there, it's gonna be under games, it says GPU watch. It says get information about an application's CPU or GPU usage. So when you click on it, okay, this is the option. Basically, if you disable it, it's not gonna show up. If you enable it, it's gonna show up. And also when you enable this, something is also gonna pop up in the actual notifications panel, which is gonna be right here, okay? So that's great. But then basically, let me just go out, it shows up. When I go back to the settings, it disappears, so it can tweak the settings. Now if I go to my general settings, first and foremost, there's a lot going on here. So if I go to my general settings, I can actually change the background color, background transparency, the graphic grid and all that good stuff, and even the update interval. So let me just grab this. I can tap over here and I can go out just like this. Now I have a red background. It's all based on your needs. Okay, you can pick any color that you want. I like the black color with a little bit of transparency so I can see what's in the back. Okay, so let's go out and there it is. It stays on the top of the screen right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and launch a game and then you can see how you can use this to monitor the game progress. But also before I do that, let me go back inside and I do want to let you know, you can actually disable the uh, portions of this uh, monitor on the top. So I can come here and I can say, delete the uh, context info, delete that context info, delete the load info. Now when I go back out, all I'm gonna see is the actual FPS meter if you don't do want too much clutter on the screen. But if I do go back here, I tap on plus. So I can click the plus button here. Now I can say custom widget or I can choose widgets from presets. So if I tap on presets, I have these things right here. Let's just go with the load. Now when I go back out, it's gonna show the load and the FPS. Now I can tap on plus and create a custom widget. Now this here allows me to activate whatever information I want under graph or text as you can see. So I can have the screen resolution. When I click OK, it's gonna show right here. When I go out, now I have three boxes with all the information I'm looking for. Now when you click on each widget, you can also change the size to small. Let's go with small. 
Let's go with small, okay? Now we have smaller objects, so it's going to be much easier when you play the game for it not to bother you. So anyway, let's quickly launch a game over here. Let me go to my game launcher, okay? I'm going to go to my game launcher, and I am going to launch the asphalt game here. So it's going to flip it over. So let me just fix the orientation. So there we have it. It is showing me the current average frame rate. It's showing me the GPU and CPU load, and also it's showing me the resolution. Look at this game is playing at 1624 by 7. 57 okay when I click on play let's see what happens still the average FPS is at 60s let's wait for the game to actually start click on play all right let's wait for the game to load so the uh, the, the FPS is fluctuating but now it's going up okay so I have the game set up for maximum FPS so let's see what we're getting we're getting 60 average right now so we are playing this game at 60 frames per second it's dipping a little bit, but it's working. And then look at the GPU load. The GPU is at 95% to 90% load. The CPU is at 40-50%. It keeps fluctuating, but you can see exactly what's happening as you can see. Okay, so let me just exit from the game, and that's exactly what they do over there. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. Now, I will let you know, like I said, the other older phones have this as well. So here's a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 with a One UI 2.5. I'm going to go to my settings, all the way down, de developer options, and if I go down here, it is going to look a little bit different, okay? Uh, not as advanced, but if you go down to games, it's going to be here. We have four sections. If you enable it, it doesn't show up on the screen. What you have to do with One UI 2.5 is you have to choose the app to watch. And then when you launch that application, okay, in this case, just as, as an example, Amazon Shopping, it is going to show the overlay atop that and you have the widget settings right here that's for older versions and that's going to be for one ui 3.0 new and refreshed styling for this feature like i said when you drop this down you see the same thing right over here it says gpu watch and remember at any time you go to your settings you go into your developer options you go down to games uh it should be right here games you can go to gpu watch and you can just disable that okay so you can enable it on a need basis and disable it when you don't need it one more big thing over here we have a user guide and manual when you click on this guy it goes to the actual website samsung developers website and gives you information on what it actually does it says it is a tool for observing gpu activity in your application it is designed to get you that kind of information in real time, in an easy way, you do not need a PC, okay? So that's a user guide and manual for people that are interested in the actual details. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.